चैप्टर फोर क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू लर्न द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग नो अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लाउड सर्विसेज अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सर्विसेज अ क्लाउड कैन ऑफर वॉर्म अप Observe the following picture and write five things that come to your mind. Teachers note as students how these clouds are somehow useful to us, how they help us. Also introduce them with the term cloud computing. Hello friends, let's learn about cloud computing. Cloud computing is a service that requires a subscription that includes a number of services. These services are used by individuals and organizations because all of the processes take place in the internet world. It is known as cloud computing. Today, cloud computing is attracting a lot of interest from consumers, including everyone from individuals at home to the government. One approach to understanding cloud computing is to think about how we use our email account. We launch a web browser and sign into our email account to view our email. When we need to, our email accounts are not kept in the computer's memory, but we can access them from any place with an internet connection. Our emails are kept in a server computer that is physically situated far away. Our email account can be accessed via email server through internet connectivity. Do you know by 2023 researchers predict that more than 40 gigabytes of data will be stored on the cloud. The functioning of an email service is comparable to cloud computing. If we use a cloud service, we can access a variety of users available services like storage, processing and security services in addition to accessing our email. Advantages of using cloud services. You can become an expert in machine learning if you comprehend other concepts that are related to it. The various fields that have contributed to machine learning are briefly listed below. Freedom of access. The drawback of the conventional computer system is that we must physically present where our data storage device is in order to access it. Through the internet, we can access data using cloud services from anywhere in the world. Helpful for businesses. Small businesses can benefit from cloud services. However, they provide a significant contribution to small businesses by providing them with storage and processing capabilities which were previously only accessible to large organization because of high cost of infrastructure construction. Flexible services. Sometimes a business or a person may need more or less space depending on their storage space needs. We can also quickly sign up for or discontinue using a cloud service. Reduction in cost. If someone wants to launch a new business, they will need to invest a lot of money in new computers, internet access devices, additional storage devices, security measures and software licenses. This would undoubtedly take a large amount of money by using cloud services that can meet all of our needs for storage, security and app accessibility. We can reduce this expense. The setup cost will be significantly reduced by using cloud services. Cloud storage. The majority of cloud providers offer storage option. Users love these storage services extremely much. Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive and other well-known services are very popular. As a result, it is crucial for us to comprehend the security procedures that a cloud service provider has in place and to take our own step to protect our data. Types of cloud services Different types of cloud services are available depending on the needs of the users. Public Cloud Anyone with the internet connection and access to the cloud space can use the public cloud. All of its users have access to the public cloud. It is accessible to everyone, but the data and application used by one subscriber are hidden from all other subscribers. Private Cloud 
A private cloud is created specifically for a given organization and only that organization is permitted to use or access it. Access to data and application is strictly controlled in private clouds. An example of this may be a school's canteen, which is solely open for its own faculty, students and staff. Community Cloud A community cloud is shared by two or more businesses with similar cloud needs. This kind of solution aids businesses in cutting costs associated with cloud services. Let me answer. Discuss about iCloud service provided an iApple phone. Hybrid Cloud In core, a hybrid cloud is the merging of at least two clouds, where the clouds are a mix of community, private and public clouds. Public Provisioned for open use for the public by a particular organization who also holds the service. Private Used for a single organization can be internally or externally hosted. Hybrid to a composition of two or more clouds, private, community or public, that remains unique entities. Community shared by several organizations typically externally hosted, but also can be internally hosted by any organization. Types of services provided in cloud Software as a service A SaaS cloud service gives subscriber access to different application apps. SaaS frees us from downloading for storing an app in our phones. This means you do not need to install the required app on your devices. SaaS makes it easier to have the same software on all the devices at once by accessing it on the cloud. Platform as a service our PaaS system goes a level above the software as a service setup. A PaaS provider gives subscriber access to the components required to develop and operate application over the internet. Infrastructure as a service In a IS agreement, the subscriber completely outsources the storage and resources such as hardware and software that they need. All this simply means that we can choose a specific cloud service based on our requirements. Cloud Security We all recognize the need of protecting our data from unauthorized users. By incorporating system security in the form of a user ID, password or PIN, we may protect the data on your computer. However, if we are using the internet to store our data on a cloud service, it may also free up more space for other users to access our data. However, we will have to willingly lose direct control of our data in order to benefit from the cloud. On the contrary, keep in mind that most cloud service providers have a great deal of knowledge on how to keep our data safe. In order to secure their computers and network service providers have access to more tools and knowledge than the average user. The following considerations should be made by a user before choosing which cloud service to use. What kind of encryption does the provider use? What methods of protection do they have in place for the actual hardware that our data will be stored on? Do they have duplicates of our data on hand? Do they have firewall set up? What safeguards are in place to prevent the user information from being shared with other users if they have a community cloud? Disadvantage of cloud computing We have little to no understanding of where our data is stored and we have limited control over who has access to our information. Our data is frequently accessed by hackers without our permission. Some popular cloud services Dropbox One of the best cloud services for sharing files is Dropbox. It offers its customers SaaS-based services. Many people take advantages of its limited free storage option, but it also provides paid services to both individuals and organizations under various plans. Remember it, 1.2 billion files are saved on Dropbox every day. Google G Site The most widely used email application in the Google Play Store is Gmail, a free online email service. Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Plus, Hangouts, Talk, Sheets, Forms, Slides, Site, Keep and Jamboard are all part of Gmail email services. 
It also provides cloud-based storage service to the users. Let me answer. Do you have a Gmail account? Google Drive? Adopt Creative Cloud. Create professions like artists, filmmakers, designers and other creative professionals can access cloud-based services from Adobe Creative Cloud. InDesign, XD, Premiere Pro, Dreamweaver, etc. are a few of the most well-known apps. Kids IQ What kind of cloud services should your school institution choose and why if it is required to do so? Let's recall. Cloud computing is a service that requires a subscription and includes a number of services. If we use a cloud service, we can access a variety of user-available services like storage, processing and security services in addition to accessing our email. One of the best cloud services for sharing files is Dropbox. Creative professions like artists, filmmakers, designers and other creative professionals can access cloud-based services from Adobe Creative Cloud. A private cloud is created specifically for a given organization and only that organization is permitted to use or access it. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. Cloud computing is a service that requires a dash. Answer. Subscription 2. The functioning of a dash service is comparable to cloud computing. Answer Email 3. Dash businesses can benefit from cloud services. Answer Small 4. The majority of cloud providers offer dash options. Answer Storage 5. A dash is created specifically for a given organization and only that organization is permitted to use or access it. Answer. Private cloud. B. Write T for true statements and F for false statement. 1. One of the best cloud services for sharing file is Dropbox. Answer. True. 2. The most widely used email application in the Google Play Store is Yahoo. Answer false. 3. A hybrid cloud is the merging of at least two clouds, where the clouds are a mix of community, private and public clouds. Answer true. 4. Access to data and application is uncontrolled in private clouds. Answer false. 5. A community cloud is shared by two or more businesses with similar cloud needs. Answer true. C. Answer the following questions. 1. What is cloud computing? Answer. Cloud computing is a service that requires a subscription and includes a number of services. These services are used by individuals and organizations because all of the processes take place in the internet world. It is known as cloud computing. 2. What are the types of cloud services? Answer. Different type of cloud services are available depending on the needs of the users. 1. Public cloud. 2. Private cloud. 3. Community cloud. 4. Hybrid cloud. 3. Write two disadvantages of cloud computing. Answer. The disadvantages of cloud computing. We have little to no understanding of where our data is stored. And we have limited control over who has access to our information. Our data is frequently accessed by hackers without our, our permission. 4. What consideration are to be made before choosing cloud service? Answer. The following consideration should be made by a user before choosing a cloud service. 1. What kind of encryption does the provider use? 2. What methods of protection do they have in place for the actual hardware that our data will be stored? 3. Do they have duplicates on our data on hand? 4. Do they have firewalls set up? 5. What safeguards are in place to prevent a user's information from being shared with other users if they have a community cloud? 5. Write about any two cloud services. Answer 1. Dropbox one of the best cloud services for sharing files is Dropbox. It offers its customers SaaS-based services. 2. Google G Suite 
The most widely used email application in the Google Play Store is Gmail, a free online email services. Critical thinking Samira prefers to use a cloud-based service that will provide her access to various office-based programs rather than installing Microsoft Office on her laptop. Name the service you think Samira should use. Answer: Ask students to do it by themselves. Teamwork Together with your pals, make a video outlining the benefits and drawbacks of cloud computing. Use your teacher's assistant to show the video to each of your classmates. Answer: Ask students to do it by themselves.